Tukajua tuko na dabi. Na dabi ni Ingwe against Gormaya FC Leopards. Gormaya FC Leopards who will be able to have the final laugh. I know that is one of the biggest fixture that they're going to have in the Football Kenya Federation Premier League. Let's listen back to back what the two coaches have to say because for them they are sharpening their arsenal and they want to get the victory. The tacticians that is for FC Leopards and also for Gormaya. Everybody is uh, prepared. The mood is good. It's always the is motivation by itself. You don't need to motivate players too much for this game. I agree with you. It's a big one. It's uh, not only a big one in Kenya. It's a big one in Africa. So for me, it's the first time. So yes, it's a uh, it's a uh, it's about tactical preparation, physical preparation, mental preparation. Uh, we, we we take it as the challenge. Look, they are they are the reigning champions. They are they are leading the look. So for us, the, is the is the is the challenge to to succeed and to maybe to prepare something for for them. And uh, Derby never has the favorite team. There is no uh, underdog or favorite team. So it's the is the always 50-50, 11 v 11. It's a fight. It's a big game. So we need to be ready, and they will be also ready. And let's see who will be better. Look, uh, come big in numbers. Uh, I even forgot to tell them thank you for the game in Machakos when we play Posta. Uh, they surprised me. They came very in very big numbers, so uh, I believe now they will come and they will fulfill the stadium. I believe also the opponent fans will come, so I, I, I expect nice crowd. Um, obviously, the team we've been on a good run this year. You know, I think our position in the league sort of showcases that that we've been pretty consistent from the very start of the season. So, got a very good win up in uh, in Zoya last week. Obviously, someone actually informed me, our team manager informed me after the game, first time in 40 years that De Gore have won at Sudi Stadium. Um, so that's a long time. That's since before I was born even. So um, for that little record to have been broken, mood in the camp's good. Um, players, you know, pretty much everyone's fit. There's one or two little things. Obviously, we all know Rooney Onyango took a really bad tackle last week and had to come out of the game. Um, you saw he was training today, not quite as much as everyone else, but we think he'll be ready for the game. Um, so he'll be ready for selection. And otherwise, everyone else is making steady progress. Uh, Patrick Cadu, who's been out for a little while with a hamstring injury, now is probably 80%. Uh, Amory by Sengis maybe a little bit behind that at 60%, but yeah, we're probably at night almost everybody. I think this week might come a little bit too early for Amory by Sengi. Um, Philemon Otieno's out as well with a knee injury, but other than that, everyone's ready to go. So, as you can see in training today, there's a lot of competition. Everyone wants to play, but this has been the same here for the last three or four weeks. You know, we're at the business end of the season, we know that every point, look, every point now feels like it's worth more. Um, it's not. Ultimately, points in match day one are worth the same as match day 25, but it feels like it's worth more now.